I met my future husband at a party at a friend's house. He woke me beautifully and everything was wonderful. A few months later he proposed to me and we got married. Everything was fine when we started living together. But sometimes my husband would come home from work and take it out on me. He didn't hit me, but he would yell at me and nag me about everything. I didn't cook right. I didn't put the dishes away right. I didn't understand what was wrong. Then he apologized to me and promised that it would never happen again. I forgave him because I loved him so much. He persuaded me to quit my job, saying that his business was booming and he had enough money to live on. I agreed. Everything was fine for the first time. But then my husband started demanding from me an account for every penny I spent. I couldn't buy anything for myself without his consent. I thought he would change with time, but I was wrong. One day, coming back from shopping, I met an elderly neighbor. She offered me to help her clean her house for a fee. I agreed, as I had plenty of time and I had my own money to spend on myself. I asked her not to tell my husband, and she gladly agreed. I would go to her for one hour, help her a little, she would pay me, and I would leave. The whole time I was with her, we got used to each other. She turned out to be a very nice person. She had a son, but his job involved traveling, so he was on a long business trip at the moment. A few months later, I found out I was pregnant. When I informed my husband of this, he was very excited. He became a bit more lenient towards me, but he still demanded an account for the money spent. I tried to talk to him about it, but I only made him angry. I was very hurt. I cried and he apologized again. And I forgave him, as always. I continued to love him. I kept going to my neighbor's house, but she wouldn't let me do anything at her place. We just sat and talked and drank tea with her delicious cakes. One day, in conversation, the neighbor told me that my husband had been married before. His first wife had cheated on him and left him. I was surprised because I knew nothing about it. My husband never said anything about it. Maybe that's why he asked me to quit my job and controlled me but I didn't give him any reason to. I was hurt, but I couldn't tell him because he would ask how I knew. And I didn't want him to know I was talking to my neighbor. Nine months later, I gave birth to my baby boy. It was a wonderful baby boy. I began to devote more time to the child. I saw that my husband was annoyed but I could not do otherwise. The baby demanded more attention. I was tired, but I did not get any help from my husband. He distanced himself from me and the child. While my husband was at work, my neighbor started to come to me. Now she helped me around the house instead of me. While I cleaned up, she would sit with my baby and play with him. And then he would fall asleep while she sang him a lullaby. She tried to help me in everything and took care of me, for which I was grateful. I didn't have parents of my own. They were in an accident and died when I turned 19. One day my boy was crying a lot. He had a tummy ache. My husband started yelling at him to calm down and even swung to hit him. I was shocked. I took the boy and went to another room. After a while, when my little boy had calmed down, my husband came in to apologize. But I wouldn't listen to him. I left for another room, but he followed me. I don't understand what is happening to you. 
You have become very rude and angry, taking out your anger not only on me, but now on the child. You almost hit him now. I told him. His reply threw me into shock. My husband suggested that I give the baby to an orphanage. He claimed that the baby was interfering with his vacations at home, interfering with his business, interfering with our relationship. I realized that he hated the child. I couldn't hear it. I still tried to talk to him about it and suggested that he see a psychologist. But my husband became more and more gloomy. Life in my husband's house became unbearable after he said that we did not need a child. My husband put me in front of a choice I couldn't accept. I decided to divorce him. And within the same hour, I packed my bags and left home. The only place where I could go was my neighbor's house, warm and cozy, where I could find not only shelter, but also understanding and support. In the evening, I knocked on the neighbor's house, asked to spend the night at her house, and in the morning to go and look for a rented apartment. She gladly let me in. I explained to her the reason for my leaving my husband. She was amazed at what she heard. Tell you what, I'm not letting you and the baby go anywhere. You will live here as long as you want. My house is big. There is enough room for everyone. Especially your son has become like a grandson to me. I am very much accustomed to him. Don't worry about money. My son earns very well and he sends me money. So I won't take money from you. She told me. I tried to object, but she did not accept my objections. So we stay to live with my neighbor. My husband tried to talk to me, but my neighbor promised to call the police if he came again. Over time, my neighbor's house became more than just shelter for me and my son. My neighbor replaced my mother and my son's grandmother. A year later, the neighbor's son arrived. My son had already started to walk and talk a little. I wanted to pack my things and leave, but my good fairy did not let me go. She informed me that my son knew about everything. She talked to him on the phone. I was very afraid to meet her son. There was no telling what he might think of me. After meeting him, I decided to explain the situation to him. If you tell me to leave, I will pack my things and leave right away. Just don't think badly of me. I told him. He looked at me fondly and said, I don't have that in my mind. Please stay with mom some more. She has become so cheerful. You have brought bright colors into her life. My mom has even gotten younger, especially since I've been offered a lucrative contract and am going abroad again in two months. Mom will be alone again. Please don't go. And your son gives her great joy and I don't want her to lose it all. He told me. I agreed to stay. All that month, the neighbor's son Steve was by our side. He took care of both my mother and me. He helped me with everything with my son, even putting him to bed. Then he would sit us down at the table, drink tea, and tell us funny stories. We had a lot of fun. We became very good friends during that time. I got very used to him. Even my son called him daddy once. I don't know who taught him that. Steve was surprisingly very happy, as if it was really his son. One day, my ex-husband came to see me. It turns out that after I left him, he had been on a losing streak. His business had gone bankrupt. He blamed me for everything, yelling at me that I was to blame for his bankruptcy. 
He blamed me for not giving my child to an orphanage. I stood there amazed at myself. How could I possibly love this man? He was yelling so loudly that Steve couldn't stand it and came out. Walking up to him, he asked him to leave. Seeing Steve, my ex-husband started saying to me, and you are all the same, you, as my first wife, also found a replacement for me. Well, if you behave the way you did with me, I wouldn't be surprised that she left you. I replied to him. He was furious and took a swing at me. But Steve didn't let him do that. He twisted my ex-husband's arms and took him home. I felt very uncomfortable in front of Steve, so I told him, Steve, please apologize for my ex-husband. I feel bad that he acted like that, I told him. Maria, don't you see how I feel about you? As soon as I saw you, I loved you immediately. I was very much afraid for you today. I was afraid you'd go back to your ex-husband. And I'd never see you or the baby again. So I decided to tell you. I'm facing a difficult choice. I've been offered a lucrative job abroad. But now that I've met you and the baby, my heart is torn between my career and my desire to build a family with you. Of course, I realize you've only known me for over a month. So don't give me a rash answer. If you agree to be with me, I won't go anywhere. There will be work for me here too. And if you tell me no, I'll leave and I won't bother you, Steve told me. Steve became a real support for me and my son. He helped me with everything. He took care of my son, helped around the house, and participated in the upbringing of the child. He became more than just a friend to me. Steve was always there when we needed him, and his support helped me overcome all the difficulties. He became a real father to my son who loved and cared for him. Steve helped me regain my faith and love and happiness. He showed me that a real man is one who respects and appreciates his woman, who is ready to be there for her in joy and in sorrow, who loves not only in words but also in deeds. Steve helped me to open a new page in my life, a page filled with love, respect, and happiness. And I am very grateful to him for that. I realized that I can't imagine my life without him. I told him, yes. In the meantime, my ex-husband continued to have difficulties. His business went bankrupt and he was facing serious financial problems. He tried to contact me several times. But I decided it was best for both of us to put the past behind us. I don't know what happened to him after that, as we never kept in touch again. My life changed for the better and I decided to focus on my son and a new relationship. My ex-husband was part of my past and I decided to move forward.